John, obviously the weekend, um, first time you've experienced defeat in a Saints shirt. Is there a different mood in the camp after a weekend like that? Um, there is, there is, <clears throat> but it's not a, not, not a negative mood. It's not a beaten up, downhearted mood. Um, we were aware the last couple of weeks things haven't been going our way, but we managed to pick up points. We weren't happy with a few things in our game. Um, and Sale sort of exposed us in those areas and they've kind of given us the old kick up the arse so to speak in terms of getting our, getting our heads switched on and, and really sorting these areas, areas out for good um, a lot of things about the performance and what Saints pride themselves on that it wasn't really a Saints performance that's, so it is it, uh, it's, it's tough to explain just it's more intense, the concentration level is higher, we know what's at stake this weekend, we've had our lesson, we don't ever want to feel like that again, so it's a lot, a lot more switched on and a more ruthless, ruthless on, like, sort of look onto this weekend. Was it a strange sort of feeling for you, because obviously you've had this chance now to come into the first team squad, you've been able to put your hand up and yeah. yet you're coming off the bench and trying to make an impact in a game that's the Saints are chasing rather than the Saints are dominating? Yeah, it was it was a, a strange one for me. I mean, I, I personally never felt so tired after nine minutes. Um, for whatever reason, we just, yeah, as you say, chasing the game. Things weren't quite going our way. I mean, yeah, you can say some of the decisions went against us, but it's easy to blame things on the ref. Um, our performance in general wasn't up to our standards. Like, I, like I've just said, it was... So coming on to that when players who are normally so so sound and, and, and solid and, and perform at such a high level, to see them starting to make human mistakes like everyone does, it, it's a bit like, what, what do we do now? Um, so it's just a case of getting out there and, and try and pick up the tempo as best I could and get us in the right areas. And, and it's a shame we didn't come away with that, that losing bonus point because in the last 15 minutes when the likes of Tamana Jimmy Wilson, Mighty Williams, people like that, when, we, when they came on, they did make a good impact and, and we started to get a real dominance in the game and Sale just defended, defended, and, and they defended well in fairness to them. Um, they kept us out, um, but yeah, it was, it was a strange one. When you've had to wait behind the likes of Lee Dixon, and Carl Potter Lee, two world-class international scrum halves for your chance, what do the coaches say to you going out on the field? What do they ask from you? I mean, a... I, I completely understand why I have to wait. Uh, if I was the coach, I wouldn't pick me. So that's the first thing. But, but B is sort of just doing the right things. I mean, obviously me changing tonight, and it's completely different. So I just need to work more on my consistency, uh, repping those passes time and time again, keep keeping them accurate every time, not going off, off task sort of thing. Um, and just keeping the tempo out that, that, that's all they really say is they just look they're looking for consistency the more consistent I am the more likely I'm, I am to play and, and that, it's a clear message and it's a one that I've been working on and just following on that you mentioned consistency obviously having this run of games prior to the LV window the Six Nations where you might have expected more of a chance how much is that going to help you? Oh, massively um, I'm learning every time I go out there different things in terms of defence and attack game management stuff like that um, so I'll definitely it'll, it'll hold me in good stead going into this LV LV campaign. Um, hopefully, a couple of more minutes these next two weekends, and and hopefully I can put my hand up and get a start and sh start and shout at, at, against the LV teams.